عليكم أنا سارة حبيب طالبة من الثاني متوسط المدرسة الموهوبين وعندي بحث بحث لأنواع النانا بارتيكلز بإشراف الدكتورة إباء عدنان Silver nanoparticles They are the nanoparticles of silver meaning that they are silver particles whose size range between 1 to 100 nanometers and are usually described as silver and some of, some of them consist of a large percentage of silver oxide due to the large surface percentage processes compared to the bulk of the silver atoms. Preparation by steam physical deposition or by wet chemistry or implantation of ions. Ion implantation has been used to manufacture silver nanoparticles. This process shows the production of silver particles contained in polyurethane, polyethylene and silicon and polyethyl methacrylate. The particles grow on the substrate by bombardment of ions. The presence of nanoparticles is conferred by optical absorption. The uses. Silver nanoparticles have found their applications in catalysis, optics, electronics, and in other fields due to the, their unique size, and this is what optics depend on, and their electrical and magnetic properties. Most applications of silver nanoparticles have been concentrated in antibacterial and antifungal agents in the field of biotechnology, biological engineering, textile engineering, water treatment, and silver-based consumer products. Uh, this picture shows how nanoparticles appear in the microscope. Iron nanoparticles. They are particles smaller than a micrometer made of iron metal. They are highly reactive because of their large surface area exposed outside to the mass. In the presence of oxygen and water, they rapidly oxidize to form free iron ions. It's widely used in medical laboratory applications as well as studied to treat industrial sites contaminated with chlorinated organic compounds. Synthesis Iron nanoparticles can be synthesized by the reduction of iron which has the oxidation number plus 2 or plus 3 hexahydrated ion with borohydride in an aqueous medium. Reactivity. When exposed to oxygen and water, iron oxides. This redox process can occur under either acidic or natural basic conditions, as you can see in the following two equations. The picture on the left shows how the, the synthesis of iron nanoparticles, and the on the right shows the structure of iron hexahydrated. Picture on the left shows the Lewis structure of boric acid, and on the right shows the structure of tetraborohydrite. Platinum nanoparticles, it's usually in the form of suspension or colloidal substance, which is platinum particles less than a micrometer in the liquid, often water. A colloidal particles is technically defined as a particle that remains suspended without forming a dissolved or ionic solution. Synthesis. Platinum nanoparticles are typically synthesized either by the reduction of platinum ion precursors in solution with a stable zinc or capping agent to form colloidal nanoparticles, or by the impregnation and reduction of platinum ion precursors in a microporous support such as aluminium. Applications Hydrogen fuel cells. Among the the precious metal, platinum, is the most active toward the hydrogen oxidation reaction that occurs at the anode in hydrogen fuel cells. In order to meet cost reductions of this magnitude, the PT catalyst loading must be decreased. Two stages have been investigated for reducing the PT loading, the binary and ternary PT-based alloyed nanomaterials, and the dispersion of PT-based nanomaterials into high surface area substrates. In this picture you can see how the process is. And thank you for listening.